Hello lions, eagles, snakes and badgers, welcome to my weird wizarding channel. I'm your friendly neighbourhood Slytherin Rebecca Felgate and today I'm yielding my muggle device. And I'm on Facebook, <laughs> creeping. You see me creeping in the shadows? So I thought we would have some more fun today with our mate Siri, aka Keith the Ravenclaw Beef. You guys seem to love my sorting Siri into his Hogwarts house video, so I thought that we would have some more fun with him today. Obviously we found out that he's a Ravenclaw which makes a lot of sense. So I was thinking that we could get him to tell us a bit more about the world of Harry Potter. Obviously, we already know everything, but like, surely it's gonna be some lols, right? Before we do though, guys, please do let me know what you get your Siri or Katona or your Google Glass to call you. Here's my name. Say my name. You're Rebecca, but since we're friends, I get to call you Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. It's not just because we're friends, it's because I am Slytherin Queen Rebecca Jane Felgate the first. Bow down, honeys. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna ask Keith the Ravenclaw Beef some Harry Potter questions and also get him to give us his take on the fandom. Yeah, it could be a catastrophe, but like, I'm into it. Okay, do you believe in magic? I don't believe that I have beliefs. Right, fair enough. Abracadabra. All right, here's what I got. Oh, it's got some facts about magic here. Can you do a magic trick? Do me. Do a magic trick. Interesting question. Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. I don't think Keith knows what he's talking about. Okay, let's ask him some questions about Harry Potter, see if he can explain it to us. What is Harry Potter? Harry Potter is a series of fantasy novels written by British author J.K. Rowling. The novels chronicle the life of a young wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all of whom are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The main story arc concerns Harry's struggle against Lord Voldemort, a dark wizard who intends to become immortal, overthrow the wizard governing body known as the Ministry of Magic, and subjugate all wizards and muggles, a reference term that means non-magical people. Well that's good news isn't it? Also, did it sound to anyone else like he said that Harry Potter was a lizard because it did sound like that to me. Also can we talk about what he called Ron Weasley? Ron Weasley. <laughs> Otherwise though, I think that was pretty informative. Now let's ask about he who must not be named. Who is he who must not be named? Lord Voldemort is a fictional character and the main antagonist in J.K. Rowling's series of Harry Potter novels. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Voldemort first appeared in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which was released in 1997. Voldemort appears either in person or in flashbacks in each book and its film adaptation in the series, except the third, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where he is only mentioned. Oh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my absolute favourite. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can get Keith the Ravenclaw Beef, seeing as he's like pretty intelligent, to tell us a little bit more about Horcruxes. Maybe if Harry Potter had had a Siri himself, he would have been able to find them a lot quicker. Where are the Horcruxes hidden? Okay, I found this on the web for where are the whole Horcruxes hidden? Where are the Horcruxes hidden? Okay, check it out. Okay, so Siri seems to think that they are at a burger joint down the road. Good on you, Siri. Okay, oh. here's what I found. Okay, so we're being told that the Horcruxes are at Hidden Valley Ski Resort. So maybe this is all the team needed in the first place. To the Hidden Valley Ski Resort. Are you a Horcrux? There's no need for that. Oh, like... I guess maybe. Horcrux! I don't see Cox in your contacts. Should I look for location? <laughs> Honey's not looking hard enough, that's all I'm saying. Okay, things have got a little less than PG. Siri's kind of going through my list. He's making a few assumptions about me. Let's just ask our Keith to explain Quidditch. Can you explain Quidditch? Quidditch is a fictional sport devised by author J.K. Rowling for her fantasy fiction series, Harry Potter. The story of Harry Potter centers around wizards and witches studying their magical craft at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Born out of the lore of witches using flying broomsticks for transportation, Quidditch was developed by the author as the most popular sport in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. A complex game played completely in the air by wizards and witches on flying broomsticks. Pretty informative. Thanks, Keith. Do you like Quidditch? This is about you, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first, not me. Well, if it's about me, then I say yes, go Team Slytherin for life. I also don't really like how Keith is kind of calling everything fictional because Keith. Okay, so we want to learn a little something from our mate Keith, and because I'm always striving for Muggle tech to be better than Wizard tech, I'm thinking, who needs history of magic? Perhaps Keith can tell us a little something about the Deathly Hallows. What are the Deathly Hallows? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is a fantasy novel written by British author Jay. Do you want me to keep reading? No, because actually I want to hear more about the invisibility 
Fertility Cloak, the Elder Wand, and the Philosopher's Stone. So actually, maybe this one is kind of secret. Speaking of invisible, I want to know if Keith the Beef has an invisibility cloak of his own. Are you invisible? Oh, he says be right with you. He's frozen. He's frozen. Keith. Are you invisible? I don't have the answer to that. Is there something else I can help you with? Can I see you? Who? Uh, me. Do you have an invisibility cloak hiding in there? I'm sorry, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. I'm afraid I don't have an answer to that. I think he probably does, but he just don't, doesn't want to share. So we obviously know that Keith the Beef is a Ravenclaw, but I'm just wondering if there's like a little Slytherin in there. Are you a Slytherin? Sorry, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. I don't really know. Don't really know. Maybe we could get cheeky. Do you want to to slither in. I have everything I need in the cloud. Right, so no chat blinds for Keith then. Enemies of the air beware. I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. Let's see if Keith can explain the Wizarding World's most delicious drink. What is in a butterbeer? Okay. Check it out. There's nothing to read. Let's just let's just move on, shall we? Okay, so we've got some hard-hitting questions for Keith. Oh, I don't see anything connected. Don't interrupt me. I'm doing a video. My goodness, he is starting to. I might have to avada kedavra Keith the beef. I'm telling you. So I'm just wondering if we can ask a few romance questions. And I'm thinking, should Hermione have been with Harry? Yes. The answer that's just popped up on the screen is that J.K. Rowling says Hermione should have married Harry. So that's decisive answers there. Do you fancy Hermione? This is about you, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first, not me. Do you want to slither in Hermione? I try to be satisfied with what I have. Guess he's not a Gryffindor kind of guy. Lumos! I'm not sure I understand. See, apparently if you say Lumos to Alexa, it turns the light on, but this is not something that Keith the Beef can do, and I'm a bit sad about it. Turn the torch on! Okay, I've obtained a Samsung, and apparently this is what happens. Lumos! 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 It did work! It's because you're British. I think that's it. Oh well, all spells should be cast in British, so she's got a Samsung, she did it. She's off. Okay, so I have always wanted to visit Hogwarts, and I'm thinking the ultimate and final question that I'm gonna ask Ravenclaw Keith the Beef is, you know what, how can I get there? Because what else would he be useful for? Maybe he can tell me. Tell me how to get to Hogwarts. Checking. Here's what I found on the web for tell me how to get to Hogwarts. Ooh! Show me how to get to Hogwarts. Oh, he's directing me to the Hubble Space Telescope, which isn't quite right. He's elusive. He's elusive. Okay, so there we go. That was speaking about Harry Potter with Keith the Ravenclaw Beef. You were kind of useless. Let's be honest. I'm doing my best. I'm not sure that you are. Never mind. Hopefully we can give Keith the Beef the wizarding upgrade. For now, tell me if you've got any fun responses from your Siri Harry Potter related in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you Lions, Eagles, Snakes and Badgers. I hope you've enjoyed our foray with Keith the Ravenclaw beef. I for one think we might have to kick him out of Ravenclaw house because he is not quite smart enough. Right, I'm off to just do my thing being a sassy Slytherin and I will see you beauties next time. Bye!